proud Nebuchadnezzar is humbled. Nebuchadnezzar was king of the Babylonians and ruled over the most powerful empire in the world. God had allowed him to win battle after battle and come to power to teach the disobedient people of Israel a lesson. They were now working as slaves in his kingdom. But success had gone to Nebuchadnezzar's head and he was boastful and proud. He would not give any glory to God. Then one night, the king had a strange dream. In his dream, he saw a very big tree. It was so big, it grew right up to the sky, and its leaves spread all over the whole world. The tree grew fruit, which dropped down to feed many animals, and many different birds lived among its huge branches. While the king was looking at the tree, an angel came down and ordered, Cut down the tree, shake off the leaves, and scatter the fruit. Drive the animals and birds away. Leave just the tree stump and fix a band of iron and brass around it. The king heard the angel talking about him. Let grass grow over him and rain fall on him, and let him live like an animal. He will live like an animal for seven years. The angel then said, Why is this going to happen to the king? God is all-powerful, not you. He will learn that God rules over people and is in control. When the king woke up, he ordered all the wise men in his kingdom to come to him. Tell me what my dream means, he demanded. But none of the wise men, magicians, or advisors could explain what the king's dream meant. Then Daniel, who loved, trusted, and obeyed God, came to see the king. I know, no secret troubles you, the king said. Explain my dream to me. Daniel asked God for help, then he waited. An hour later, God told him what the king's dream was all about. Daniel went back to the king. Tell me what the dream means, even if it is bad news. Daniel replied, Well, it is bad news, and your enemies will be pleased. The tree you saw was you. It was cut down because you will be cut down. You will be cut down to size for seven years. Why is this going to happen? The alarmed king asked. It's because you are wicked and do not show any mercy to the poor, Daniel replied. You are puffed up with pride and think you are more powerful than God. Of course, Daniel continued, if you repent and do what is right, God will not punish you. Daniel left the king and for a whole year, nothing happened. The king stayed rich and healthy. His kingdom prospered and everything went well until one day he was looking at his magnificent palace and his heart swelled with pride. This is my great empire, the king boasted. I built it with my power. I am mighty. Look how important I have become. As soon as he had said these words, the king heard a voice from above. O King Nebuchadnezzar, the kingdom is departed from you. God told him that he was in control, not the king. Right away, King Nebuchadnezzar lost his mind. He left his palace and ran off into the countryside. He just went wild. The king was blown about by the wind and soaked by the rain. His fingernails grew long, like a bird's claw. He lived like a wild animal for seven years. Then he got his mind back. King Nebuchadnezzar had learned that God does whatever he likes in heaven and earth. No one, not even a king, can challenge him or question what he does. The Most High God lives forever and ever. His kingdom never ends. He commands his armies and the people of the earth. He was sane again and returned to the palace. Blessed be the Most High God. King Nebuchadnezzar was now a humbler man and a much better ruler for it. He realized that he was king of Babylon, 
not by his power, but because God had allowed him to succeed. He wrote, Now I, King Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol the King of Heaven. All his works are true, and his ways judgment, and he humbles those who walk in pride.